Hey guys, welcome back to One All's Pub. Thought I'd give a little talk here about knife care and show you some of the products that I use uh, for rest prevention and lubrication and whatnot. Uh, I've got a few knives out here, got some hinderers and my uh, Nusa Benza and Spyderco Domino and whatnot. You can see. So I've, I've used these products uh, on these knives and I'll kind of go over them with you. Uh, number one, we'll start with the Frog Lube. This uh, Frog Lube I use uh, as a rust preventant on. Um, you know, on the blade itself, uh, it's the, it's the paste. It's got that you know nice frog lube wintergreen smell to it. Uh, it smells like a you know like a wintergreen lifesaver. Um, and uh, the great great thing about this is not only is it rust preventative, but it's if you can see maybe if you can see that uh, all natural, non toxic, environmentally green, blah blah blah. Long and short of it is. You can uh, use this on blades that you do food prep on, and uh, it's safe for that. So that's really cool. What I do typically is I just uh, I take an old polishing cloth here, um, and I just kind of get it kind of impregnated with the uh, with the frog lube, and then I want to wipe the blade down. I just wipe the blade down like so, and uh, I give it that nice uh, coating of rust prevention. Now I don't live in a real rust prone environment. Um, but still, you know, I probably hit them, you know, hit a knife, especially if I'm carrying it, you know, once a, once a month, every six weeks or so, maybe. But, uh, just give them a wipe down like this, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I really don't even have to dip into this. I mean, this little cloth alone has been keeping me going for months now, just after I got it good enough, getting, you know, impregnated with the, uh, with the lube itself. Uh, I'm going to move that out of the way just because I'm getting kind of shine off of it. Uh, but this is uh, this stuff's good stuff. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, and then uh, then for for pivots and whatnot, I tend to do. Oh, look at that! That's looking pretty nasty. Let's just go ahead and give him a give him the treatment anyway, just because it's just nasty. You can see that I've been EDC in this blade a lot. Although this this week I did EDC my uh, my new Savenza, but um, this guy Domino's definitely been my pocket jockey here for the last month or so. Uh, but for pivots, I have traditionally used, well, at least when I say traditionally, I used for both rust preventativeness and, um, and pivots for the longest time, I just used mineral oil because I do like to use my knives in the kitchen. Um, and I wanted them to be, you know, uh, food safe. Uh, but once I discovered this, then I wanted to get away from the mineral oil because that stuff really collects a lot of crud in your pocket. Mineral oil, really, I found that it really draws pocket lint into your pivot and whatnot. Um, so I, I uh, searched out this Daiwa oil. It's actually a, a real oil for fishing reels, and uh, it comes with the needle applicator tip, and like you see on like nano lube and whatnot. And this is really good for you know getting down inside those pivots, you know, and getting into very specific places and. You know, applying uh, the oil as needed, especially on like a spider coat, because I, I tend to not like to take my spider coats apart if I uh, if I don't have to, because just because of the warranty issues associated associated with taking spider coats apart. Um, so unless I just really got something really going on uh, inside one of these, I, I try not to take it apart. And honestly, if I had something really going on really bad, I probably would just want to send it back to spider coat. Uh, maybe I'm just being, you know, overly anal retentive about that, but. Whatever reason, I just tend not to take my spideys apart for that reason. When I clean them, I, I just clean them um, as per the spider co instructions with the uh, soapy hot water. I fill a bowl with soapy hot water, clean them in there, and then run water, you know, clean water through the pivot, and whatnot, and then you know, shake them out good, and maybe blow dry them, and do whatever, and just to get the uh, you know to get the whole knife dry. Um, and I'll take them apart and, and clean them like I would do, you know, like a saban, my sabans or the my handers or whatnot. Um, uh, but when I got this knife, you know, I know that the Chris Reeve knives, you know, uh, the Sabenza is supposed to have the, uh, you know, he recommends running his fluorinated grease, which is fine. Um, when I first got the knife, it was used when I got it. And, uh, you know, I went ahead and took it apart and cleaned up the, the pivot and everything and then relubed it with my Daiwa real oil just to, you know, because that's all I had. And, um, and it was fine. Uh, it, it, it seemed to be, you know, seemed to work fine. Um, but it wasn't quite, I don't know, I just I felt like it should have been smoother maybe. Um, so I decided to go ahead and get some uh, of the uh, Chris Reeve fluorinated grease. Well, when I looked, you know, looked that stuff up online, you know, for a little five gram, excuse me, five gram tube, that's 11, 
11 and a half bucks plus shipping. Um, you know, so I was gonna pay you know 16, 17 bucks for it. So instead, I found this stuff on Amazon.com. It's uh, finished line extreme floral fluorinated grease, um, about the same price, like 12 bucks, 12 and a half bucks. And I was sent to my Prime member on Amazon. I got you know free two day shipping. So for a little less money, I got this, and I got four times the amount. This is 20 grams. Um, so I figured, what the heck, you know, fluorinated grease is probably fluorinated grease. For the most part, I'll give it a try. And if it's just a fail, then I'll get the Chris Reeve and not worry about it. Well, I got it, took the knife apart, you know, uh, lubed it back up with the fluorinated grease. And, yeah, it's a uh, it's market improvement over the Daiwa Real Oil, I do have to say. It makes me wish I could get the, uh, what's the word to go? Ah, makes me wish I could get, you know, like, grease inside here but like I said I'm not gonna take it apart and this thing is plenty smooth without it so I don't need it it's just you know one would like to see how it would uh, how it would feel with the fluorinated grease but the Sabenza definitely um, it's definitely benefited uh, by this grease so I think I've got a winner in this in this uh, finish line floral extreme floral so I decided to go ahead and put it in a couple of my hinderers now, these I just typically use the Daiwa in also. Um, but the Daiwa, you know, uh, I will say this. Um, it worked really well. Um, it had a tendency to click gunk, though, too. It drew pocket lint to it. Not as bad as the mineral oil, but it did do that. So hopefully, I've heard that, you know, that the fluorinated greases aren't as bad that way. So we'll see. Hopefully, that's not the case. Um, but I got to say, very nice. Um, really like the way this feels. Um, I don't know that um, I can say it's, a ton better than the Daiwa was as far as overall feel. Um, I, know, I don't know. Sitting here flicking it. I think it does feel a little better. I mean, not a ton, but it's. I, I do think it's an improvement here too. It was definitely, I felt the improvement with the Chris Reeve and the, uh, you know, the, um, you know, the pivot system that they have. You know, this just has the Teflon washers, you know. Um, but I still think, yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to say it's a little bit better than the, than the real oil. Uh, and especially on this knife, this particular one here, this is my Gen 3 Spanto with the uh, CTS XHP steel. You see that? Sort of. Yeah, you can only see there's a stamp in there. Trust me, that's what it says. This one has always just been crazy smooth. So, the uh, fluorinated grease has helped with that one even more so, probably. This one's more, uh, not quite as smooth as that, but still plenty smooth. And I, I believe it's helped this one as well. Yeah, there, there's a nice feel to them. And another thing about it is is that um, they sound better, if that makes sense. Not not this part, the clacking of them, but the return. With the uh, with the real oil, I could always kind of hear a little bit of a, I could hear just a little bit of the friction. Um, you know, when you, if you held your, if you held the, you know, the, the knife up to your ear, you could hear that, just a little bit of that, friction on these I don't uh, I don't hear it nearly as much so I think it all around I think we just have better um, pivot lubrication going on with the uh, with the extreme floral uh, fluorinated grease so uh, yeah I, I recommend this stuff if you guys are uh, um, you know, if you have you know sabenzas and you don't uh, you don't want to spend the money um, to get the little five gram tube and you want more just you want to use it on other knives too, um, then this is probably the way to go. Like you said, I use use this on three knives so far. Um, I probably use it on more, and uh, and uh, you know this is probably enough to last me. You know, this is enough to last me three lifetimes. Um, this is probably enough to last me and <laughs> the majority of my lifetime as well. So you know I got enough fluorinated grease and frog lube and got a couple of tubes of this stuff, diver real oil, and this stuff by the way much cheaper than uh, the nano lube. This is four bucks a tube, so. And then it lives like 20 bucks. So you get, uh, you know, a quarter of the price. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of a bargain shopping when it came to uh, to this stuff. But I think I found some good alternatives to kind of some of your more bigger name stuff. And I think I'm getting a lot of uh, or very similar functionality. Uh, uh, but those are the uh, the items I use, I tend to use. Um, I've had a lot of luck with them so far and I uh, like them a lot. So I recommend you guys uh, looking for them. And if, even if you don't have a, you know, a Sabenza, uh, check this stuff out. I think you'll like how it, uh, it's got the nice, you know, needle applicator tip as well. I think you'll like how this, um, how this makes your pivots perform. Good stuff. Anyway, 
Again, it's finish line, extreme fluoro, pure fluorinated PFPAE grease. 100% pure DuPont fluorinated. There you go. Anyway, that's one of those two cents. When it comes to lube, you guys can keep the change. Let's launch it.